Blame on. I can't wait for casual Friday. Sometimes I don't feel like I'm better than everyone else. My turn. Jump. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder, what did the fit? Ow! Boy, Call Rove really ruined things. Hello, pathetic store nerd. One copy of Grand Theft Scratchy, please. I'm um, sorry, sir. That game is rated M. No problem. I have ID. This is a Cal Calzone Zone frequent Calzone Eater's card. There's a free Calzone in it for you. This never happened. <laughs> oh, wow. Teenagers are so dumb. Bart, what are you doing near a video game store? <gasps> Buying a video game? I've heard about this. It's the game where you play a meanie bobini that murders other meanie bobinis. I'm putting this game in the same place I put your swimsuit magazines and your BB gun, Homer's underwear drawer. Ugh, great. Now I have nothing to play except the games I bought yesterday. And I'm totally sick of them. The Simpsons game. Hmm. This is so weird. The only Simpsons game I can think of is the one where we all pretend Dad isn't an alcoholic. What could it be? Wait a sec. This is a manual for a video game set in Springfield. <gasps> and Dad is a character. And so is Mom and Lisa. Who'd want to play her? Whoa, I'm in this game. I wonder what my moves are. Jumping, floating. Oh, man, I got to try this. The only good book ever written! Hey, boy, look what appeared in my magic drawer. Hey, what's with the fruity getup? If you're planning on coming home like that, don't bother. Dad, I'm a superhero now, and I have all these awesome powers. Superpowers, huh? Well, that's cool, I guess. I was gonna go shoot bats while reading swimsuit magazines in this cave. Wanna come with? Finding this cave was a life changing experience for us. Nice work, video game guy. You've been hanging out down here both weirds me out and makes me jealous. My turn! Whoop. What the heck? Kick ass! Okay. Hey, Bart! Which one is the smart one? Me or Lisa? When I step on these things, I go down! I'm a freaking genius! Wow, so this is the future. Oh, why does Bart always get the sexy platform? Suddenly, I get every dirty joke I've ever heard. Remember, people, we came to this museum to steal, not learn. Don't look at any of the displays. Stay focused. Come on, let's get out of here and find a situation where my new superpowers could be useful. I think Lenny needs help moving. Dude's got a huge futon. Wait, maybe I should stop the bullies from robbing the museum. Well, you're the Dark Avenger of the night. It would be kind of embarrassing if I were thwarted by this piece of glass.
Tweet! Not polite to walk on the wall. You'll get them all fingerprinting. <laughs> nice work, video game guy. Open sesame! I didn't know you spoke Greek. Hey, Bartman! You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I bet not. We have a break in. We better call in backup. The fat guy is a little kid. Mark Coleman to stop attacking guards. I hope my bones will be this useful someday. about a dirty joke. Those are good. A stupid joke. Intruders have disregarded our hours of up. Technically, they're on our side, but let's get them anyway. To Springfield Museum's History of Man. And woman! It's driving me crazy! Our first diorama depicts early man. One of the traits that sets our human forefathers apart was the emergence of the four-fingered hand we know today. You guys aren't exactly the Hardy Boys, are you? The Middle Ages were a turbulent time, as the vestiges of the Roman Empire smoldered. Castle storming was all the rage. If you weren't storming a castle, you were worse than a loser. I don't like the way that donkey's looking at me. We continue to the story of Jebediah Springfield, the noble founder of Springfield, despite facts uncovered by troublemaker Lisa Simpson proving he was actually a bloodthirsty pirate. Don't forget the last part of my statement, okay? Newsflash! You're a loser! Don't 
The sun is a mass of incandescent gas, a giant nuclear furnace. Hi. If the uniform makes a man, you must be a pretty crappy man. Three quarters of the earth is covered by water, the water of life. Hey Homer, a little help? My turn! Mercury was named for the Roman god Mercury, a winged messenger. The thick clouds that cover Venus create a greenhouse effect that keeps it at a toasty 864 degrees Fahrenheit. If you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 38 pounds on Mars, due to the smaller mass of the red planet. A belt of asteroids separates the four inner planets from the five outer planets. My belt separates my gut from my junk. Saturn's seven rings are made of billions of ice particles. Just like the heart of my ex-wife. Constant storms rage on the surface of Neptune. What do I have to screw to get a cup of coffee around here? I've been recording this stuff for hours. Yeesh! Pluto is the only planet not yet studied closely by a space probe, cause it's boring. How often are you supposed to wash your hair? It's bad if you do it every day, right? I'm sorry, Jimbo. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. You'd have to be... In college, I ate another guy's boss to get into a fraternity. Yeah. Stop freaking me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities. We're just henchmen, man. Skinner hired us. Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I. Yeah. <clears throat> The city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Time's a billion. This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner. But I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a North and a South Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers.